Hey guys. <laughs> the, the, the place needs to make sense. Hey y'all, welcome back to a whole new video. Welcome if you're new. As you guys can see by the title, I am going to be sharing with you guys my apartment hunting experience in Bermuda. I did get assistance with a realtor and she was so so sweet love her to bits and pieces she did the best that she could for me so currently there is a situation in Bermuda where majority of homeowners who have like apartments they are not renting apartments um, and they put them on Airbnb so that's one big issue the next issue is the new condos slash type high-rises all of that good stuff those apartments are really really nice things that I would want a place that I would want to be at but they are ridiculously expensive and realistically I don't know why but the cost of living here is very very high so I feel like I need to make all of those disclaimers before we actually get into the apartments that I looked at and just discussed some of the things that I didn't really like about some of the apartments and just share with you guys what my journey has been um, because it has been a journey so with all of those different disclaimers and they are valid disclaimers also I was told that like there are peak periods where um, Airbnbs themselves even are like rated the rates are higher and like just everything is just like shooting up as the months come closer to like the summer period I was also told that I am um, I came at a time where where it's been like very difficult like one of the most difficult periods for people to find homes people that recently moved here and like all of that good stuff so I really wanted to make that as a disclaimer all right guys so with all of that disclaimer um let's just jump into the apartments that I looked at I'm trying to see if I could get it from like my phone because I recorded all of the apartments. So the first apartment that I'm going to share with you guys, this apartment was going for $5,000. It was not going to be available until June 1st because someone would have been short term leasing it. And then um, it is fully furnished. So this apartment is fully, fully furnished. It also includes all of the utilities. So when I say fully furnished, I mean fully furnished. As you guys can see, it comes with glasses. It comes with everything. Like she really did her thing when it came to this apartment. I think this apartment would be perfect for my content, but it's just outside of my budget. And the only thing that I did not like about the apartment is the bed. Um, I found that the bed could have been a bigger size bed considering the cost. Um, the bed looks like a full, to me it looks like a full size bed and not even a queen. But I think they say it's a queen. I find queens are very small these days. But nonetheless, that's the only thing that I um, would say is a issue. One thing I really like though, it's close to Hamilton. It's like at the back of Hamilton. So it's literally walking distance to the city. And outside of that, outside of that one disadvantage, this apartment is, is perfect or would have been perfect. Definitely give this a tick. It was really, really nice. Definitely out of my price range. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not spending $5,000 on rent. Um, that is no that is not what i am going to do it's not that serious it's never that serious um and so definitely though if you're making that kind of money um and you want to splurge if i was doing this with somebody like if i had a partner i definitely would be like hey babe we can take this we can just go half half right 5k on an apartment for me to live by myself i'm not quite sure <laughs> Second, the second apartment that I'm going to share with you guys, this is also fairly close to Hamilton. It's more in like the central area. It's not too far out east, but it is like at in the beginning of their west, what they would call their west. Um, it's called Paget, and this is the place that everybody says you need to live. Like when I first got here, everybody's like, if you're going to find a place, try to find a place in Paget, try to find a place in Warwick, 
um, those are the two main places if you can't find a place in Pembroke. Pembroke is where I'm staying now and it's really, really close to the city. But again, the closer to the city is the more money you have to spend. So those are the three places that I was told if it is that I want to stay somewhere, I should consider staying. And so this second place is in Paget. So this apartment, I really, really loved. My realtor, it wasn't her listing, but when she thought of me and thought of what I wanted, she was like, this is for you. I really see this for you. Now this place, I don't know how much square feet it is, but this place is really, really small. The landlord lives at the top I would have been at the bottom this I loved this place I was like okay I can see myself here the stove was new the fridge was new the apartment itself was new no one has lived in the apartment I also felt like the wash and dry space was like its own little space outside um, and the only thing that I didn't really like about this particular apartment was the couch I was gonna change that couch and the rug I was gonna get like a nicer rug um, but it was very it's a very tight space so it was nice but it was a very tight space I did put in an offer for this apartment because I was like okay this is really really nice I can shoot my content here and remember when I am thinking about apartments I'm also thinking about my content right and so that you have to factor in that when I'm thinking about my apartment because I'm a content creator I'm a youtuber I also do a little bit of Instagram and TikTok here and there and I need to have a nice space to film my content right so i said okay i really like this apartment the landlady was nice but guys mind you if you look at this if you look at the length of the apartment it is tight okay it is tight maybe at max two people can survive in this space and you have to love each other a lot to survive in this space the bedroom was very very small but i definitely saw potential in me you know making a small space nice so that was what my train of thought was at that time and so i did put in for the apartment but guess what she was like no i'm not gonna go with the first person that um views the apartment so she said no, she wants to see if other people are interested. I really like this apartment, but the landlord said, I want to see other people. The next apartment I saw, this apartment was in Hilton Parish, that's what they call it. That is not too far away, you could catch a bus, but this apartment was a big no-no for me. I liked the apartment on the inside, but the outside space was not it. It didn't give what it needed to give. It did have a nice view though. Um, but it was still a no for me because I'm not driving currently and so my walk down to the bus station or the bus to catch the bus would have been too much although I can work from home I still want to have an option if I want to just go into office in a particular day to be able to do that and so although I loved like the inside it had like an open concept the bathroom wasn't bad the bedroom I didn't I would have asked them to take out the furniture and remind you the previous apartment that was fully furnished with 25 this apartment that I'm sharing with you guys this apartment is unfurnished for 25 okay so you're gonna find variations like that or sometimes you'll find semi furnished or with just appliances by itself which I wanted because I genuinely want to create my own space um, and so I really was looking for something unfurnished but this one was a no-no um, one thing I'm liking with Bermuda do is that I'm getting my steps in I'm walking a lot and I'm a little bit more active I don't feel as tired um, and literally you can just walk down to the bus stay you can just walk down to the bus stop catch a bus and you're literally in par in Hamilton so I really love that about Bermuda so it doesn't really matter where you live you will get transportation to where you need to go so the next apartment that I looked at, this apartment was in Warwick. It was in a good area. It was right next to the supermarket called Lindo's. It was literally a ferry ride away. It's near Paget as well. Um, and what else was good about it? Those are the two main things. One thing though, they say that's a disadvantage of living in the West is the, the traffic to come into town in the morning is not that great. But I feel like mm, Trinidad traffic was bad too. So I can't complain about traffic because I know how it is to be in traffic in Trinidad and Tobago. So 
I ain't got no complaints about traffic. So yeah. But this apartment, I initially, this is the first, first, first apartment I looked at. This apartment went for twenty two hundred because I was a single occupant. But if it if it is that I was moving in with like my partner, it would have gone up to twenty five because they have an issue with like water. So like if two people living in a place, they're like, okay, more water is being used, and so they must up the rent. Now this place, I um, I was considering. The only reason is because of the location. To be honest, the aesthetic of the place was very very dated um it wasn't really bad um so i did ask the land i did ask the realty if the landlord if the landlord would be willing to move all the stuff that's in the apartment and allow me to kind of like buy my new bed you know change out like the microwave was old the fridge was a little bit dated like just it was there was just a lot of things but the price point was pretty good so i was like okay twenty two hundred dollars that's not bad at all um the space though would have been very very small very very tight but it is a perfect location. Um, but this place was a no-no for me. The landlord said, no, she has no way to put her stuff. So if you're renting it, you have to rent it as is. And you can't really make that much changes. So I was like, uh, well, no. Also, my colleagues were like, don't take the first place that you get. One of the things that I, I learned in living in a new place, having to look for an apartment, is always go with your gut don't settle because you think you're gonna be homeless because you're not <laughs> and take your time take your time to find a place take your time to find your home if something is not settling about a, a situation or a place go with your gut feeling if something is not going far for the buck that you're paying wait always just wait that is something that i was very nervous to do because again it's not a renter's market you know there's no homes to rent so yeah that was a big 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 thing for me but yeah with that let's move on to the next apartment that i looked at so the next apartment that i looked at i went all the way out to somerset and somerset is where they have like their dockyard they have like really nice beaches i don't quite know the history of somerset like that but you guys will get to see it's on the west the far west side of the island you can either live on the east side which everybody tells me don't live on that side or you can live on the west side which everybody's like the west is the best kind of thing um so this apartment i really really love this apartment i love i like the fact that the apartment had like new kitchen appliances the bedroom was a bit small but i said you know what i could i could work with this the bathroom had cupboards the bathroom was actually not bad tiled you know it was not a bad bathroom at all the living space was a little bit small it did have a wash and dryer so when you are looking at an apartment here you need to consider a wash and dryer in the apartment when you're looking at an apartment here as well you need to consider mold that is something that i totally totally forgot to even mention in this particular video hence why i'm doing a voiceover mold is something that you need to ask your landlord about like how moldy does the place get when you are viewing the apartment as well you should look under the sink you should also look for any mold on the walls in the crevices of the walls you just want to make sure that you're paying attention to mold mold is something that is big on the island most places have it but it is also recommended like once you keep your ac on once you keep air flowing in and out of the apartment then it would be fine so i really love the apartment for this the area was pretty quiet it was literally a five or less minute walk down to the main road where you could catch the bus and also also you can catch the ferry yes they have a ferry in, Berm in Bermuda which I found to be so advanced and so progressive because like you can take a ferry from the west because they know it so far and it takes you literally 15 to 20 minutes at maximum to get into Hamilton and it docks you straight into Hamilton and I was like this is amazing I took the ferry to come back I read a book I sat on the ferry a bunch of other people take the ferry it was clean and all of that good stuff uh, but this apartment i love 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 this apartment it was going for two thousand but it's going for two thousand fully furnished but the 
the realtor said that the landlord would be open to taking everything out and letting me kind of fix the apartment how I wanted to and I love a landlord that is very flexible like that because I know myself I will want to make changes because I want my apartment to feel as comfortable as it can be in the space that I'm in. I'm not in my country, I'm not with family, so I need to create a space that I am going to adore and I'm going to love. All right guys, so we're gonna move on. I'm gonna try to eliminate the noise that I'm hearing outside, but this, this, apart, this next apartment that I'm gonna share with you guys is an apartment that I I didn't really like um, it's spacious what I love about this apartment is the space it does have like tiles on the back end of the wall which I wasn't really for but I love the space and it's very airy it's very spacious love 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 that so if like you have family it's big and this apartment goes for $2,500 the the closet space is pretty big as well the landlord is also flexible it doesn't have too much up uh, furniture in there and like I said the space is big I can do what I want to do with it it comes with a couch I wouldn't have to consider buying a couch in at any time it also comes with a bed um, so I would not have to really consider those type of things but the space of the apartment I love 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 the only thing I did not like or don't like about this apartment is that this apartment has like tiles on the back wall and I'm just like why 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 but this apartment does go for $2,500 and I think the space for the apartment, French kiss. Three of the apartments that I looked at, they were in perfect location and that is something that you genuinely want to consider when you're getting a space because again, when you're living on your own, you don't want to go out too far and that's my only, that's the only disadvantage with Somerset is that it's just too far for my liking um, but that's the only disadvantage with that particular apartment. What this particular apartment is, I love the location of it, but the disadvantage is the, is the tile on the walls and the back spots. I, I don't like that. <laughs> but the space I do love and the white on the walls I do love. Yeah. And then the final apartment that I'm going to share with you guys is this other apartment in Hamilton Parish. This apartment was going for $2,800. And the space was okay for the $2,800. So I didn't have a problem with the space per se. I did not like the colors in the living area. This is why I'm very hesitant to get a fully loaded or fully furnished apartment. Um, um, because I just don't want to be living in a space where i don't like the furniture i prefer a better a, a more neutral type of furniture something that i can work with and then the bedroom is what really solidified the no for me the bedroom was very dated i didn't like the bed the bed was smaller than it looks on the video um it looked like a full something that my nephew would probably sleep on at seven and then the cupboards and the closets were kind of very old and dated so i was just like this is not for me the bedroom space is not for me one of the things that i know is that i'm someone that spends a lot of time in her bedroom so i need my bedroom space to make sense and it wasn't making sense with for me for this one so i had to be like next <laughs> but um hamilton parish it wasn't a bad um estate like all of the homes they were really beautiful bermuda actually have really i haven't seen any wooden houses in bermuda like they're all wall homes very very nice but i just didn't get a good feel from an apartment that is also something you want to note yeah no i went to see another apartment that i didn't i wasn't able to take a video of because someone lived there so wherever i went and i took videos and you guys got to see those videos um that's because no one was living there at the time and i i'm so happy i got away from this particular apartment i'll probably give you guys that as a story time but that's the story for another day. This video is already too long. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the housing market in Bermuda. Let me know if that's the same thing in your country. If you are not, you know, if you're in a different country. And like I said, always go with your gut feeling. Don't ever choose something that you know you're not 100% sure about. Remember, when you're paying rent or a mortgage or, you, you know, you have to pay that monthly. 
and that is coming out of your salary and that's something that you genuinely don't want to have any issues with um in reference to like just not feeling motivated to pay this person rent feeling depressed about the decision that you made so whatever decision that you're making in life if not if you have gotten anything out of this video the fact that when you go into a space feed the energy see what's the energy like two don't go for something that you know you cannot afford financially I would also recommend go for something that will make a lot of sense for you and your situation and take your time. Anyways guys, I'll talk to you guys in my next upload. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Bye!